Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back here to today's episode of Intuitive Angling and really appreciate you guys coming by the channel and spending a little time with me today. I always appreciate that. And guys, today we're going to have a discussion on who I think is the best role model as far as professional angler out there for not only upcoming tournament anglers, but for just for you know, kids in general, people in general, bass anglers in general. I just am super impressed with this individual and we're going to have a little discussion on it in today's video. I'm also, guys, before we get started, I just want to let you know about the uh, Father's Day sale on my Solarbat Series RB2 and RB3 Series sunglasses. Uh, between now and June 23rd, you can get these and anything else on the Solarbat website uh, for 30% off. If you guys are interested, I'll put my Solarbat link in the description. Here's the RB3s, here's the RB2s. And in addition, guys, Solarbat makes uh, prescription sunglasses. They make sunglasses for all different types of sports. Um, it's really cool, so check them out on the Solarbat website in the description here. Okay, guys, who is the best role model in fishing today? Without a doubt, in my opinion, it's Carl Jacobson. Um, he did a, uh, he was on Dave Mercer's podcast a couple days ago, and I had a chance to listen to that podcast, and I just came away from that just super impressed with Carl. Um, I, you know, if you guys aren't familiar with it, Carl is from Australia. He's been on the Elite Series for several years now. And um, one of the, a couple of different things I want to say about this is like, I admire anybody that can come from a foreign country and come to the United States and compete uh, at the top level like Carl does. I mean, aside from the, the cultural difference and just not knowing you've been, you're away from your home, you're, you know, completely across the world, all the anglers like Carl and the Japanese anglers <clears throat> that, uh, that compete in the American circuits, you know, there, it takes a tremendous commitment to do that. So right off the bat. But anyway, um, I don't know Carl very well. I fished some of the tournaments he was in, some of the Bassmasters Open, but I never got to know him. But I follow him on social media and I followed uh, his career, you know, since it started. And guys, I am just, I, and I've always been impressed with him because he always is, you know, he's a super positive dude out there. He's got his stuff together, man. He's got a great family. I, one of the things I like about it, it's like some of the videos he does on his social media, you can just tell he takes care of everything. It's like everything he's got is super neat and super well organized, super clean. Just got his act together as far as that goes. And he does uh, involved in late cleanup projects at the tournaments. He organizes these late cleanup projects on his own, picks, picks up trash around the tournament sites. But anyway, uh, so I've always liked him from that standpoint. But guys, I had a chance to listen to this podcast that he did with Dave Mercer. And I'll link Dave's podcast in the description of the video here. You guys can check it out. It'd be well worth your time. There, there, there is no doubt in my mind that I don't know of any other pro out there that comes across as humble, sincere, positive, articulate, intelligent, um, likable, every single thing it's like every single list to check down the mark as far as just this just being a great dude all the way around and um you know hearing him talk uh with dave on this particular podcast they covered a wide wide range of topics and to hear his thought process and how he how, and how he articulated each one of those topics very well thought out lots of critical thinking skills very aware of everything that's going on and um Man, I, I just came away with it with just a, a just even a higher appreciation for that guy. I mean, I'm just super impressed. Need more people out there like him. And if you haven't had a chance to to follow him on social media or get to know him, uh, you know, he'd he'd be a good one to follow. I the, the best way to put it is like you know when you're around certain people or you're you're in the presence of certain people, they just have a, an energy about them, a positive energy. And I don't necessarily mean a positive energy in terms of uh, just you know unicorn and rainbows all the time that's not what i'm talking about but just a just good a good feeling to be around just a good good human being and like i said i don't know carl very well all i know him is from what you guys have seen and um, you know i i really just wanted to do this video because i came across after watching the podcast he did with dave just so impressed you know with his viewpoint on everything in the topic everything in the sport that we have here so anyway, guys, I just wanted to link that in the description. Check this podcast out. Um, and if you're wanting to, uh, if you want a human interest story that it, that really sort of reaffirms uh, my uh, reaffirms my faith in the sport, it's by watching you know some of the stuff Carl said. Because you guys know that watch the channel here, you know I'm pretty 
pretty critical about a lot of the different stuff that goes on in the sport here. And um, you just don't really get a chance to see somebody like Carl that uh, sort of brings you back to ground and centers you a little bit. So anyway, I just wanted to let you guys know that. Hope everybody's well. We'll talk later. See you.